Good evening. I'm Justin Farmer. I'm Javita Moore. A local dermatologist will pay nearly $200,000 after misleading patients about her medical certification. Take a look. You'll remember this video. A Channel 2 Action News investigation led to her license getting suspended. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is live in downtown Atlanta. And Nicole, attorneys say this ruling is just the start. Right, and that's because you have a couple of different fights here. Uh, th these multiple civil claims, this push for tougher credentialing laws here in Georgia. Uh, but what was announced this week can help people who lost money before they ever went under the knife. I was happy to see that Dr. Boutte consented to it and finally is taking some responsibility. A Channel 2 investigation has led to another major development in the case of the dancing doctor, Dr. Wendell Davis Boutte. We introduced you to Boutte in 2018, highlighting a number of settled and pending malpractice claims of botched surgeries against Boutte. This was like a freak show. It led to the medical composite board suspending her license. While a number of lawsuits are pending, the state has stepped in. It's ordered Boutte to cough up $190,000 to 38 victims, consumers who had paid in full but never had surgeries performed after Boutte's license suspension. And when you don't return the money to those that had paid, that's just wrong. Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr. It is dangerous when medical professionals misrepresent their qualifications, plain and simple. But the attorneys involved in the cases against Boutte are eager to see people who appear to have enabled, like the anesthesiologist who danced by her side, held responsible too. It doesn't go far enough to address the other people in the room who were complicit, who knew about these representations yet still participated and the board has not taken any action against them. Our end goal is to see some legislative change in Georgia. Georgia allows doctors to practice medicine outside of their specialty, regardless of their board certifications. Boutte, a dermatologist, claimed she was certified in cosmetic surgery on her website. The state now says those claims were false or unsubstantiated. It goes back to they have really loosened up the rules on the truth in advertising. Uh, for doctors in Georgia, and, and that's a problem because then the onus becomes on the consumer and um, to do their homework on their own doctor. And most consumers don't question doctors. So they see a long fight ahead for victims in the courtroom and here at the Capitol. Now, the AG says if Dr. Boutte doesn't pay up, she could face more than $600,000 in civil penalties alone. We're going to link uh, a link to where you would file for claims uh, to this story on our website, WSBTV.com. Live in downtown Atlanta, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. And Nicole, as you know, we've talked to so many of her former patients. It'll be interesting to see what they do now that this uh, has to happen. Thank you. We